Welcome to our Cambridge IGCSE Biology Series. In this video, we will focus on the supplement or the extended part of 1.2, Concept and Uses of Classification Systems. If you haven't watched the previous videos on characteristics of living organisms, I'd recommend you watch them now. Before we begin. This video follows the Cambridge IGCSE 0610 format, A, star to C and 9 to 1, but Pearson Adexel and Oxford AQA students can also use it. Just be sure to cross-check with your syllabus. So without further ado, here we go. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain how classification systems aim to reflect evolutionary relationships among organisms. Describe how DNA-based sequences are used for biological classification. Explain why organisms that share a more recent common ancestor have more similar DNA-based sequences than those with a more distant common ancestor. Scientists classify living organisms into groups to make it easier to study them and understand how they are related. The system of classification that we use today is called a natural classification system. This system does not only look at how organisms look on the outside, like older systems did, but also tries to reflect evolutionary relationships, meaning, it groups organisms based on how they evolve from common ancestors. Firstly, you need to understand that organisms share characteristics because they all ultimately descend from a common ancestor. In the past, organisms were classified based on morphology, their overall form and shape, such as the presence of wings or legs, and anatomy, the detailed internal structure revealed through dissection, like that of a leaf, as shown here. Organisms that share a recent common ancestor are grouped more closely together. Organisms that share only a distant ancestor are placed in separate groups. In other words, classification is like drawing a family tree of life, the closer two organisms are on the tree, the more closely related they are. This is an important concept, so I suggest you rewind the video and watch again to understand better. As we already know, every living organism has DNA inside its cells. DNA carries instructions for the organism and is made of sequences of bases, A, T, C, and G. You will learn more about this in the upcoming videos. Scientists can look at the exact sequence of these bases in the DNA of different organisms. The more similar the DNA sequences are between two organisms, the more closely related they are. This is because organisms that share a recent common ancestor have had less time to accumulate changes in their DNA sequences. Organisms that share only a distant ancestor have had more time for mutations to occur, so their DNA sequences will be more different. Therefore, by comparing DNA base sequences, scientists can more accurately classify organisms and understand how they evolved. Next up, we cover 1.3, Features of Organisms. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more IGCSE biology content. See you in the next video.